Well, joining me now is Patricia Moradian. She is the president of the Henry Ford. The Henry Ford is back open, so give visitors a sense of the changes and, and what they'll be experiencing now. So now we have two venues open. Um, we have the, the, the village open, Greenfield Village, and the museum is open. Um, we are not open seven days a week like we typically are. We're open four days, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. We have reduced capacity, so it's a, a little less crowded than we've had in the past. Uh, we allow for um, all online reservations, so everybody needs to go online and reserve your time. And the whole point of that is so that we can keep capacity at the levels in which it's safe. Uh, we do have decals on the, on the ground for the places where there may be lines so that people can uh, space out and be comfortable. Uh, we do require masks. Uh, for both venues in the museum of hands-on exhibitions are not, are not open for touching. The ones that we were able to keep open, we have hand sanitizer stations and we have um, cleaning, extra cleaning staff. How do you as an institution start to try to plan ahead when we really have a bit of an uncertain future when it comes to revenue? There could be more rolling stops uh, that we have to pull everything back again. What is that like to do a kind of large scale planning? It's, it's, very, it's very difficult. Um, we have a tremendous team and we have a really great board and the board is helping us um, think through some of these circumstances. Obviously, we had to get open first, so we're looking at it in time increments. So the first step was, you know, what are we dealing with and how long do we have to be closed and what does that look like? Okay, now we can start planning the reopen. What does that look like? So we're getting through in these time chunks, but right now what we're doing is we're paying really close attention to people's comfort level and coming back. We're talking to our members and guests, we're doing surveys, and we're paying attention to um, what we're able to to see from their behaviors and what that could predict for the future. And then we're doing a lot of business modeling. When you look at how nimble cultural organizations have had to be during this time and creative as well and continuing to, to connect with their base, what would you say, is there anything that has made your organization more nimble? One of the biggest, I think, um, creative things that has come out of, of this for us is we, we started a, a campaign called Reactivate the Henry Ford um, because it is such a vibrant part of this community. It's such a community treasure. It's unlike any other nonprofit in the country and maybe even the world in, its, um, in, in the kinds of collections we have and the artifacts that we have, which are so significant for learning right. about innovation and invention and, and being resourceful. And so the reactivate the Henry Ford applies to uh, people coming back to visit, uh, people becoming members or people donating. And so we started a reactivate the Henry Ford fund as well to help us shore up what will be um, a 10 to $20 million deficit at the end of 2020. That's staggering. Um, it is staggering. <laughs> what exhibits can we look forward to so people can come and enjoy? So I'm, I'm excited about the Marvel exhibition. Uh, that was scheduled to open on March 26th. So we literally had, you know, we closed down two weeks before our biggest exhibit. So it opens on uh, this week, July 16th. They'll see over 300 uh, different artifacts in this exhibit relating to all the Marvel superheroes, the comic books, illustrations, costumes, props. Um, so we're very happy that we're able to show this exhibition. Um, and if we have to make a change, we'll pivot and we'll, we'll make that change.